Hey guys, this is day 25 of my 30 day wilderness survival challenge. You wanna know how I got this possum or raccoon? You definitely have to watch the rest of this episode. I'm Chris Thorne, that's Zachary Fowler, and this is the 30 day survival challenge in Texas. There's only one rule. If you wanna eat, you gotta catch it and cook it. Good morning, everybody. It is day 25. Yes, day 25. And as always, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you need to go whoop, bam, right there and check out the playlist where you get to see the other 24 days of our full dual survival challenge, our 30 day survival challenge here in Texas with my buddy Zachary Fowler. We're gonna have a playlist on his channel, my channel, but it's time for me to not waste too much time because I need to go out to the river and check my traps and see if we caught any raccoons last night. Well, it's kind of windy today. Apologize for the wind noise. But uh, according to my watch, we're having a significant drop in barometric pressure which means it's probably going to get cold or rainy tonight so we're going to make sure we're prepared for that but uh right now we're at the creek i'm gonna go check and see how our traps are doing all right y'all so got my blow gun and it looks like both traps have gone off we gotta see what we got well isn't that a little different we got ourselves an opossum that's interesting. What's over in door number two? That looks like a raccoon. So we have possum and raccoons. Interesting. I am not going to deceive you. I have never caught an opossum in a trap before. But that's crazy. So go ahead and get these creatures uh, prepped for the smoke and all that stuff and we'll get right back to it all right well while we're here let's go ahead and go down to my secret Narnian location where all the rocks are and see how my minnow traps are doing all right guys so we're down here in my little Narnian portal and it's not because there's anything special here it's only because of the fact that uh Cold front. Nice. It's only because it's so dang beautiful. If you guys have been following me on social media, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, let's go down. It's fall! Yeah! Alright, so, let's get the first minute trap going. Man, this is like a dead zone. Later today, we're definitely gonna be moving these. I got cheap dog food, raccoon fat, ain't nothing doing. Yep. It is what it is. I mean, really though, how upset can I be? We just got a raccoon and an opossum in five days, actually. What? Yeah, I have like an every five, five day thing with the traps. It's the weirdest thing. It's like they're on the rotation. Well, this is not definitely not a crawdad heavy creek slash river, but uh, upstream where Zach is, it's definitely a catfish portal. Also, 
All in all though, I feel very blessed. We've got more raccoon, more catfish, more possum than we can possibly do with. I know it's not as cool as like, I took down a deer. I am the manliest man that ever manlyed. But at the same time, survival isn't necessarily designed to be a cool contest. It's designed to see how efficiently and how reliably you can keep catching your dinner. And for us, we keep catching food. Now what makes it more interesting if you're stuck in a survival situation is take some cues from some of the things we've done with our food. If you have a cross section between catfish and raccoon, if you get that lucky, fry it up. If you're not into fried food, well, that sucks for you. But it's one of those things that it just, finding new ways to use things that you forage and take other creatures to blend things together to kind of make a fun smorgasbord always keeps your meals interesting because as you notice we've eaten kind of the same things over and over again we've had raccoon catfish possum and crawdads those are our four big meal options for the past 25 days and we still find a way to keep making it delicious and interesting so um like i said this place is the bust oh Let's see if we can get lucky and uh, either catch Zach back at camp or we'll go down to his secret uh, fishing hole that uh, he showed us yesterday and uh, see if we can catch us some catfish. All right, y'all. So, super happy. We didn't catch any crawdads, but man, I got a possum and a raccoon. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe we'll just have a triple platter plate tonight for our last five days. And have some catfish too. And anything Zach might caught down on the river. All right, we're back at camp. Now we're gonna go through the secret Nardian portal. No, this is the Terabithian portal. I apologize. Mine's the Nardian portal. And we are gonna go see if we have any fish biting on Zach's end. Ahoy there, Captain! Hey. hey! So we found Zach in his lovingly awesome little nook in the wall, his catfish heaven. So we'll come down and join him and uh, see what the catch of the day is. Alrighty, so what, what, you, what you got going on right there, Zach? I got a uh, pecan uh, catfish lure, hopefully. A pecan catfish lure. Yeah, because that's what I found in their stomachs every time I open them up. It's all just wild pecans, but I noticed that uh, once I made the lure, it sinks. I'll show you. So I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I think maybe they just skim the bottom and scent them and pick them up, whereas it's not going to be something so easily, since I don't think they hunt very fish-like with grim hooks on it. Nice. They don't hunt visually as much, so it might not work could be a desperation thing with lack of food because we haven't caught any crawdads. No, oh, for them to eat? Them? Yeah. Well, I haven't yet seen any crawdads, so I think that's their primary food is picking them up off the bottom. But at the same time, I keep seeing them every so often, they like, boom, they hit something on the surface. Right. So if these are floating down on the surface and it's highlighted, that might be the one time they visually hunt. Sweet. So, but this sinks, so I don't know. Right on, right on. Keep trying, see what happens. I've only cast like three times since I made it. That was a, that's a hill climb. What you guys don't know, is coming from the back of our campsite down to where Zach built, just like in Patagonia, this little Stairmaster over here, built like 40 steps down like 35 to 40 feet down to the creek, because there's no access point other than that. So I'm not out of breath, but I just did like a like three story Stairmaster on the side of a cliff. <laughs> so, <coughs> We are actually, for those who, following you, who are following this series live on social media, we're getting ready to do our weekly live stream where we give you guys our weigh-ins and updates and kind of let you guys know what's going on in the health and wellness department. So 
if you guys are watching you guys have been awesome but for everybody else well once that's over we'll get back to the regular schedule video Woo! so we're back at camp this guy right here is taking his little triangle chair unit and adding a cross beam to it so we can have a more comfortable situation when he sits down but right now we're gonna heat up a little bit of food so we can uh, make our neural pathways more neurological for our live stream. <laughs> all right guys, well, according to YouTube policy, this is all blurred out, of course, as always, because we cannot show the skinning or processing of an animal. We don't want, we want to be able to share this video out and all that stuff, but skinning and processing of a game is pretty straightforward. You can pretty much get that information off of any other YouTube channel that's a hunting channel or whatnot. But uh, right now we've got possum and raccoon. So we've got plenty of creatures to uh, cook up for the rest of the time that we're out here. Pretty much we've got four and a half days left. But uh, after we're done processing this up, we're gonna go ahead and get a fire started and get, get these guys on the smoke. So we're starting to lose light pretty fast. So I wanna go ahead and uh, knock this bad boy out. So I'm gonna use my ever famous Smurf crap. <laughs> my lightning strike fire tender from Holland Guns in accordance with my uh, lightning strike fire steel. One strike, one fire. Well, I love that stuff, bomb proof method. Now we'll go ahead and get a bigger fire built and we'll get our creatures, possum raccoon on smoke. Whew, got a nice, nice hot fire. Got both creatures on the smoke. The temperature dropped drastically, which is why I put on my thermal shirt and my hoodie. Zach is out in the field doing some uh, target practice at night because he is bound and determined to give us some more rabbit. But um, it's winding down to the end of day 25. We're going to let those coals burn down and get us a nice warm meal tonight because with the temperatures and the barometric temper and the barometric pressure dropping as drastically as it did, it uh, seems like it's going to be a cold one. Now, I got some stewed possum, so I'm going to dig into this bad boy and then I'm probably going to crash.